Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy F2 Fishing. It has been a long moment since I have filmed any videos or uploaded any content or edited or anything. Um, mainly just because I've been finishing up my bachelor's degree. Uh, and so I've just graduated and uh, now I'm on to working and everyday life. So I uh, have a reel to unbox here and uh, it's something I'm really excited about. It is my setup for tarpon season that will be starting here in the next three-ish months in the uh, Fort Myers to Charlotte Harbor area. Um, the hurricane that hit here, Hurricane Ian, has been a little bit hectic and um, you know it's affected everybody here so I haven't really gotten out on the water at all in the last three and a half-ish months and um, I work in a field that is related to emergencies, so it's been been uh, pretty busy for the last while. So I decided that I'd treat myself and uh, that I'd bring you guys along for the excitement of unboxing it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the box over here and go ahead and change the camera so you guys can see what we're looking at. Alright guys, so here it is. We have a Pen Slammer 4 and this is a 6500. Uh, you can see. It's still got the factory seal on there, so uh, let's go ahead and bust into it and see what we're working with. Get a little trusty key to bust the factory seal open. All right, you can see, obviously, Penn is great with their branding. They have it on literally everything and everywhere. Obviously, we have the CNC gears for uh, stronger gears. I believe the 6500 is brass but it also may be aluminum I'm not exactly sure um, IPX6 sealed um, this is their second to highest level of sealing that they do and waterproofing um, it can be dunked you don't want to reel it while it's underwater that's how water will get in the authority I believe is IPX8 and that can be reeled underwater supposedly I don't know I wouldn't do it personally but a slammer is a great reel if you guys want to be fishing from the beach in the surf. Um, I'm personally going to be using this for a boat for the most part, but I also may be doing a little bit of beach fishing. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Obviously, they're patented Dura Drag. This thing puts out, I believe, 40 pounds of drag for the 6500, which is pretty impressive. Um, and I don't think I'd ever use that much anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and crack open and see what the goodies of the box are. Obviously, you have the patented, the, the classic looking black and gold of the Slammer um, that everybody's known, known and loved. Um, this is an extra, I believe this is an EVA grip here. Yep, so that's the extra grip if you want the EVA foam. I personally love the look of the metal. I don't know if I like the feel of it, but we'll see. Honestly, this isn't as heavy as I was expecting it to be. It's not a light reel by any means, but it is definitely lighter than I was expecting. Alright, got that locked down. Here's the reel handle. Super sick looking. Love the look. Let's get this off there and we'll see how it feels. I'll go ahead and switch you guys back to facing me so I can do a little bit rather review from there. All right, guys, here we have it Pen Slammer 6500. We'll see how that sounds whenever it's uh, actually got line on it and peeling from a fish. Really smooth. Definitely like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, it says max drag, 40 pounds right there. If I can get that to focus. Focus. 40 pounds of max drag. Um, and let's see what the line rating is. We have for braid, it looks like you can put 485 yards of braid on this thing, 30 pound. Um, and 410 yards of 40 pound and 335 yards of 50 pound braid if you are looking for that. Yeah, I believe that is the measurement for four strand 
and eight strand, you may be able to get a little bit more on there. I believe it's actually a thinner diameter for eight strand. I went with 30 pound four strand um, and to try out Beyond Braid. They're about the only company I haven't tried yet, but I've seen good reviews for it. So we'll see how their four strand braid is. Um, it's a little bit more abrasion resistant. So that's why I went with it over the eight strand. Eight strand is gonna give you a little bit better casting distance, but uh, you'll see the rod that I'm pairing this on and I don't think casting distance is gonna be an issue for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock down the drag and just see how difficult that is to turn with my hand, just to, out of curiosity. It's almost like locked. Yeah, I can't even, I can barely spin that. So I don't think I'm ever gonna use that much drag, but it's there if I want it. I can take this offshore and uh, use it for grouper, or amberjack, anything really. This is gonna be my tarpon setup, but it's also gonna just be your general workhorse. Winch some big snook out of docks. Super excited to see how this thing works and um, excited to get on the water with it. Hopefully I can do that soon and get you guys a video of it. All right, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what rod I'm gonna be pairing it on, and then uh, we can go ahead and finish out this video. So, because it's tarpon setup, I went with an eight foot Shimano Terramar. Got it the wrong way here. Shimano Terramar. We got the extra heavy, extra fast. So, um, super gonna be super good for slinging some big baits around, croaker, mullet, ladyfish, pinfish and uh, yeah big lures too throw some hoagies from the beach maybe um, obviously NLBN guys love the NLBN so we can uh, sling some of those around there too and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and match this on there just to see how it looks and feels there it is all right super sweet looking rig really like the look of that Let's see how's the balance um not great I mean it's it's balance point is gonna be right about there so not terrible preferably you'd want it back here in the real seat but you don't expect the perfect balance when you're going with a super heavy duty metal bodied reel like this I could have gone with a Saragossa but I wanted the the ceiling of this. I love pen products. If you've seen my videos in the past, you know I own a bunch of them. So this was really the the, the prime choice for me as far as reels go for this specific um, setup. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you learned something in this video or if you're looking for um, an unboxing for this reel or something like that. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. This has been out for about eight months, but um, if you guys are looking for that, glad that I could show you what's in the box. Um, hopefully I can get some content out to you guys using this reel really soon. Um, probably won't be on tarpon for the first fish because, well, tarpon aren't probably going to roll through here for another two or three months. Uh, it's been kind of cold down here in Florida recently. So um, probably going to end up going after some snook, maybe some inshore gags. I actually have a spot for gags. So... We'll see what happens. I'm super excited. See y'all in the next one. Peace, people. All right, guys. I got it spooled up here. Almost took 500 yards, so they were pretty pretty right on with the with the measurement for how much they could take. It's probably about 15 yards up on this, so nice and full, 30 pound. And um, just gonna give you guys, if you wanted to hear what the drag sounded like, there it is with a full spool of line. Sounds super good. If I tighten it up a little bit, yeah, it sounds really good. Can't wait to hear the drag ripping off this thing from a tarpon. Hopefully we can get one over 100 pounds this year. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna try to hit it up as much as I can every weekend, maybe some days after work. And hopefully we'll get one on camera. I've got a drone to do some aerial shots with so I'm super excited for what 2023 has to hold. Hopefully it is better than 2022.